Hey, what's up there YouTube? Ben here with yet another new video for you guys today. So if you're like me, no matter what new phone you get, right away as soon as you get it, you like to go ahead and get rid of that stock launcher and put on a nice third party launcher. However, doing so means getting rid of some of the main selling points of the phone that you may have got. And in my case, one of those features was the double tap anywhere on the home screen feature on your LG G3 to go ahead and turn off the screen. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you a way that if you have an Android phone you can make sure you go ahead and get that back so without any further ado let's get into the video right now Alright guys, and so we are back in the video. So first off, it's very simple to go ahead and do this. The first thing you guys are obviously going to need is a third party launcher. Again, personally, I recommend Nova Launcher, but Apex Launcher, Blur Launcher, and other launchers are going to go ahead and work as well. Uh, pretty much go ahead and choose whatever you feel is going to be the best for you. Alright guys, so the first thing you guys are going to want to go ahead and do is open up the Play Store and type in Turn Off Screen. Uh, from that point on, it's going to bring you up a few different results. I went ahead and chose the first one just because it's easiest and it's normally the most popular one uh, with whatever you're looking for in the Play Store. Uh, so from that point on, again, you guys are going to want to go ahead to that search result and then install it. Now from that point on, it's going to go ahead and ask you for admin rights so that way no matter what you download from the Play Store, if it has to do with something, you know, in terms of turning off your screen or something that is system wide, it's going to give you permission to go ahead and use that app. Uh, otherwise it's not going to go ahead and work. Now after you've done that, it's the rest is all very simple. So as you can see, by stock Nova Launcher, when you double tap on the screen, it brings up the app drawer. We want to go ahead and change that. So to do so, all you have to do is go into Nova settings, then go into your gestures and find the double tap on the screen. Now after you go ahead and find that, all you have to do is simply uh, swipe over and then go to your apps because uh, you're going to want to go ahead and use that as a shortcut. Now, after you go ahead and swipe over, you want to scroll down until you find the S's. And then after you find that, you're going to want to go ahead and click screen off. And now we have it all set up, like I said, very simple. So now what you guys can go ahead and do is when you're going back to your home screen, no matter where you are on your home screen, as long as you're not touching an app or a widget, you can double tap anywhere and it's going to allow you to turn off your screen. And then as you can see with the LG G3, uh, um, you can also turn on the screen by double tapping it while it's off so you get to keep those features because again that is one of the main key selling points of the LG G3 is having that double tap to turn on the screen and turn off the screen uh, from your either lock screen or your home screen but again if you're using a third party app uh, for your home screen uh, it's gonna get rid of that feature unfortunately and so finally I went ahead and took it upon myself and found out a way to make sure that I could get this feature back. Uh, but anyways guys, that is about it for this video. I just wanted to go ahead and make that real quick. Uh, you guys can go ahead and do this on any phone that you like. Unfortunately, in terms of the double tapping on your screen to turn on the phone, that is a feature only on the LG G2 and G3. So that one, uh, you guys unfortunately can't use because again, it has to do with the software and hardware. But on a software front, uh, so when you are actually in your phone, you guys can definitely go ahead and do whatever you want with Android. That's the main key selling points of Android as a whole is if one phone has a feature, your phone can likely get that feature too. Uh, but again, that's about it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at BlackBlizzard to keep updated with you know more future videos and so on and so forth. And I will go ahead and catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Have a beautiful time.